In Huron County, Soil and Crop is partnering with the County, the Conservation Authority and local farm businesses to demonstrate that sustainability is within reach for Ontario farmers. They're putting sustainability in action. I'm Doug Walker, President of Huron County Soil and Crop Improvement Association. I'm a farmer in the north part of Huron County and have been growing crops myself for over 50 years. We're today at the Huron View Farm, which is a demo farm that is being operated by Huron County Soil and Crop Improvement Association. Uh, I'm Jim Ginn. I'm uh, Mayor of the Municipality of Central Huron and Warden of Huron County. Uh, I am a farmer. County Council in 2015 uh, was approached about uh, the farm here that we have leased out for a number of years to uh, individual farmers. So at that point in time we leased out on a 10-year lease to the Soil and Crop Improvement Association with the understanding that they will um, use it as a demonstration site for other farmers so that they can learn from the practices there. With the Stewardship Council and the Osabo Bayfield Conservation Authority, the county has long been improving biodiversity on this farm by planting trees along the river and squaring up parts of the field. They've also added grass waterways to reduce erosion and wetlands to filter nutrients. While retiring farmland can be important, Huron Soil and Crop is demonstrating how to improve the working landscape as well. Hi, my name is Wayne Wheeler. I'm a certified crop advisor and a director with the Huron County Soil and Crops. The Huron View property is 47 acres comprised of Harrison Silt Loam. It is rolling property and at the bottom of it is the Bayfield River. Because of the 2-5% to 5 slopes on the property, we are using uh, no-till practices as well as using cover crops to keep the soil in place and to prevent soil runoff and erosion into the adjacent river. We took out over in September and we planted a cereal rye cover crop. The following spring, soybeans were planted into the standing cereal rye as a green crop. That worked out very well for us at that time. Following the harvest of that crop, another cover crop was planted. And our desire is to always have something growing here 365 days of the year. As a group, as a farm group, we want to leave the the water and the soil in better condition for our children and our children's children as what uh, we first received that. The three P's of sustainability are people, planet, and your pocketbook. That we can look after the environment, reduce soil erosion, but if we go broke in the process, that's not sustainable either. So we also have to look at the economics as well. Hi, it's Ross Wilson with the Salvo Bayfield Conservation Authority. Uh, one of the things that we can help to determine whether we're being sustainable or not is we can take these various um, tests for soil health and we're in the process this fall to go to several locations on this field and do a various soil, uh, soil health tests and we'll be able to kind of see right now what is the level right now and then as uh, we implement our strategies then we can see in five years from now, ten years from now, are we getting much improvements, are the things that we're demonstrating working uh, and how well are they working. Sustainability has always been important to farmers and now there's growing pressure in the marketplace from consumers as well. My name is Mike Buttonham. I'm with the Grain Farmers of Ontario. And companies are looking for farmers to verify their practices in the form of a sustainability assessment or scheme to ensure that the product that they're sourcing is produced uh, you know, environmentally, economically and socially sustainable and there is no risk to that. So what that means is that that trickle down from that end user will eventually go down to the processor and then down to the elevator and, and eventually down to the farmer. It's something that we see as coming and that we want to be proactive to make sure that our farmers have the tools and resources to meet those demands and then again provide value back to their own operation for that on-farm sustainability. The last number of years at the Huron View property, we have been documenting our farming practices. And with that, we've been putting them into the Canadian Field Print Calculator. And what that does, it analyzes our uh, energy efficiencies, our uh, soil uh, erosion runoff, and uh, compares us up against other provinces as well as other farmers in the province um, on what their efficiencies are. The Canadian Field Print Initiative uses a model to calculate environmental impact, field by field. For the soybean crop of 2015, the Huron View Farm was measured on four key parameters. 
The first, land use efficiency, is measured in how many hectares it takes to produce one ton of soybeans, in this case a third of a hectare, or 80% of an acre. Second, it measures energy use per ton. Huron View came in at 0.9 gigajoules, 12% lower than the Ontario average. You can see here that the manufacturing of fertilizer and equipment takes up the majority of energy used for crop production. Next, climate risk is measured by carbon dioxide and nitrous oxide emissions, expressed as the CO2 equivalent per ton. While Huron View scored the same as the Ontario average of 0.25 tons of CO2, reduced tillage dropped carbon emissions from field work by 60% compared to Ontario averages. Lastly, soil erosion risk is calculated in tons per hectare per year. In 2015, it was estimated the risk was 10 tons of soil per hectare, or 4 tons per acre, about half of the average Ontario farm. While these numbers are not an exact science, this tool is useful for benchmarking and will be used to demonstrate continuous improvement on the Huron View Farm. Comparing results of these four parameters for corn production from the 1980s until now, we can see that Ontario farmers are consistently reducing their field print. To compare your farm, go to www.fieldprint.ca.